Let's bring in now NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent and host of KCDC on MSNBC on Sunday nights, Casey Hunt, and chairman of the Libertarian Party, Nicholas Sarwar. So, Casey, let's begin with you. Uh, what is uh, what is the, the talk about the next stimulus plan? Uh, we, we understand that there's already discussions about phase four, about how uh, the federal government helps workers, how they help small businesses, how they help companies that are being absolutely gutted right now by this pandemic. So, Joe, I think we're still a couple of weeks away from the next uh, version of this, and that's partly because we are still so in the thick of just grappling with this crisis, r racing. The government is absolutely racing to get these programs from that initial relief bill into place for people. But I think you can think of the next iteration of this if this was the plan to kind of keep the boat floating. The next phase of this is to get everyone who manages to stay on the boat uh, back to work. So infrastructure projects uh, across the board, you know, we've talked about infrastructure week so many times, it's almost become a joke. It's not a joke anymore. This is going to be something I think, if, especially if this crisis continues and deepens, that we're very much going to need as a country. But I think how and whether it gets done successfully is going to depend on that relationship between the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, and Mitch McConnell. Pelosi did a long conference call yesterday that I was on with reporters talking about their priorities. Mitch McConnell did an interview with Bob Costa over at The Washington Post and said Nancy needs to stand down. Uh, and they really squared mm. off in the last uh, bill. And we're going to need them to be able to work together, Americans will, if, if this sort of project is going to get through. And Pelosi did say that they've had overtures already from the administration. So if this is what President Trump wants to do and he's willing to work with Nancy Pelosi to do it, I could see it happening. But that might mean that the Republicans in Congress get steamrolled. So what, what, what's going on with Mitch McConnell, Casey? You, you have Mitch McConnell, we were talking about this before, you were talking about how he just exploded on the Senate floor, lost his cool, he's been very angry lately, um, and, and he struck out yesterday against Nancy Pelosi. What's going on with Mitch McConnell, who has always famously kept his anger in check in the past? Joe, honestly, I think it's because he's relatively powerless in this situation. If you think about everything that he's done as he's been running the Senate in this particular era, he's done it with 51 Republican votes. You know, he's kind of uh, crammed the, jammed up the systems, he's changed some of the rules, and he's moved forward under, you know, these procedures that, that let him do that. It's technically, it's called budget reconciliation, which I know you're familiar with, but which we'll set aside for a second. If he wants to do these kinds of things, if they actually want to put the, the plans in place that's going to, that are going to be needed to rescue this economy that's already in recession, if not headed for a depression, he actually needs to work with Democrats. And I think you're seeing Seeing the fallout of that, you know, those relationships haven't existed. The, you know, we we've talked a lot about how you know Republicans have failed in many ways in the Trump era. I know you and you and Mika have really focused on that, and a lot of people have gotten very upset with the idea that you have to talk about what both sides are interested in doing. People get very frustrated when you say that that you know you shouldn't equate those things, but. This, I think, is a prime example of why it's really important for people who belong to different political parties, come from different cultural backgrounds, are actually able to get together and work together because there's literally no way out of this crisis if those relationships don't exist. And the reality is our system has broken down so much and become so polarized that we're not really very well prepared or situated for the Congress to be able to make these kinds of moves in this era, Joe. Mm. Casey, it's Willie. We had Speaker Pelosi on a couple of days ago, and she was insistent that there needs to be a fourth piece of legislation to follow the $2.2 trillion bill that made its way through Congress pretty easily, in the end, anyway. Um, so where does that leave us? If you've got McConnell saying, stand down, Nancy Pelosi, we're not doing that yet anyway. He called it premature. And she, leading the House, insistent that we have to do something else, that, that those previous three were just steps along the way. Where does that leave us? If the two of them aren't getting along, they're not speaking. We know Nancy Pelosi's not speaking to the president of the United States. How do you get to that fourth piece of legislation? Yeah, I mean, I think that's absolutely the main question here, Willie. Now, Pelosi did yesterday on that conference call acknowledge that 
The House isn't going to come back until April 20th, so that's several weeks away. She said, God willing or coronavirus willing, we'll be able to be back then. That does give some breathing room. It is a space of time for uh, these new programs from the relief bill to be rolled out, to get a sense of whether they're working, to get a sense of what people are really going to need, because I think right now that's still a big question. You know, what, what exactly do we need to do? But I think she is trying to get a jump to make sure that when the, that opportunity comes and when they are ready to sit down and talk, she's got her line of policies ready to go. And I think that's part of what, you know, is frustrating to Mitch McConnell as well, because she's you can see the power play uh, kind of rolling out in public between the two of them. And, you know, Nancy Pelosi holds a lot of cards right now. And the fact that uh, she is over there running the House, I think, is is something that, you know, we have seen her in public take on the president directly. We've seen her take on McConnell, and you know, I think she is in a pretty strong position to shape this the way she wants to, really. All right, NBC's Casey Hunt, thank, thank you, you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.